Welcome back in Wicking family to another F1 Clash video. In today's video, big announcement coming in from Hutch. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at that uh, with the new cheating rules. All right, so there are going to be some new rules coming out in the game uh, for players who cheat in the get game. We're going to be talking about that. Uh, and we're going to be looking at new rules and the punishments uh, that has been announced by Hutch uh, for those players. All right. So let's jump on into it. Uh, before we go, make sure to smash the like button if you haven't already done so. Uh, and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Turn your post notifications. Let's jump straight into it. All right. So here it is. Announcement. All right. So first off, let's read what the announcement says. <laughs> Improvements to handle in-game cheating. Now, what is cheating? Many of you guys probably don't know, but some players cheat in the game by using third party devices such as auto clickers uh, so people used to cheat by using multiple device hutch put a fix to that so nobody can use multiple device no more in the game uh, so the next big cheat people do nowadays is using auto clickers all right so i'm going to be putting up a picture right here uh, showing you somebody account that used auto clicker obviously uh they use auto clicker now with the new system uh of stats in the game first time there wasn't uh stats in the game you could not see a person's profile stats like the how you could see mines here uh once upon a time uh, but now you could see a person's profile stats and as you can see i have done only 4848 races for the entire season but there are players uh, that have done like 25,000 races for the entire season. You're like, what? 25,000 races? Yes. So they have been using auto clickers to get to those kind of numbers. Uh, and it's cheating. All right. So Hutch is now taking full step uh, to these guys who use these methods and cheat uh, for an advantage. All right. All right. So uh, the announcement says over the past season the f1 clash team has been working on improving how we ha handle exploits and potential cheating in the game in game right while some improvements has already been made well yes like multiple device being fixed uh, we will shortly be rolling out a further improvement and a new procedures for handling those reports now people also make reports to hutch about other players account cheating uh, as i said you can look at a player uh, stats you can look at a player stats and you can see the amount of races that player has done uh, so let me see if i could see like a player not to use any specific player here uh, but let's look at this player's stats all right so there you can see this player has done 1600 and 56 races for the season so that player is obviously not cheating uh, but if you could look and you'll see a player with like some weird number like 20,000 22,000 25,000 then you know something is definitely wrong on those accounts there's no way somebody's going to do so much race uh without cheating all right so uh, those are the reports that Hutch is talking about there. Now, the penalty. Uh, oh, yeah, let me see. So, so it continues to say, moving forward, we will be com completing a tree strike process for players detected by our system. All right. So, you now have three chances to stop cheating. Actually, you have two chances to stop cheating. The third one, you can't uh, stop that one. <laughs> All right. So if you get that third strike, uh, man, that's it for you. All right. So the first one strike, number one, is going to be uh, first strike. A warning will be received via in-game inbox message. So if they found, uh, if their system detect that you're using multiple devices and you are cheating, uh, then you'll be getting a message in game to say stop stop using multiple devices <laughs> and if you get that message and you probably didn't look in your inbox and you didn't see that message 
you probably didn't read it hopefully it's a prompt message that it pops up as you open your game and then you click to it and it brings you straight to the message so you can't say you did not see it and you did not read it all right so let's say let's give them the benefit of the doubt you know the the average cheater he didn't see the message he didn't read it all right so the second strike strike two last time all right strike two uh, a second warning will be received as well as a one month temporary game suspension so you'll be suspended for one month out of the game on strike two all right so that should send you a signal uh, that you should stop cheating they have found out that you're cheating they're watching your account and they see that you're still cheating so they're gonna ban you for one month temporarily uh, and they're going to send you another in-game message saying stop stop cheating <laughs> all right so if all that goes through to your account and you are still using auto clicker well that's it for you my friend that's it for you strike three permanent account ban you'll have to start a brand new account with a brand new email address a brand new everything all right so your old account that you've been playing for four or five seasons will be gone. All right. Yep. All right. So it also says that the F1 Clash team will regularly be reviewing or system and proce process to improve the player experience. All right. So <clears throat> here's my message to you guys here who have been using auto clickers and have been taking advantage of the system. All right, so uh, I know the space is very competitive. I love the competitiveness of the space, you know, of the community, of the game. We are very competitive, I'm not gonna lie. People be using boosts in duels to beat somebody that's not using boosts, and then they're like posting it. <laughs> like, yeah, I beat this guy. I'm like, wow, really, really? You really post that? <laughs> well, anyways, anyways, people are very competitive competitive in the game now some people have a lot of money to spend some don't if you don't have a lot of money to spend my guy don't try to compete with somebody with a lot of money to spend you know what i mean leave those players to be in their own leagues you know let them know man i respect you you spend a lot you know what i mean uh so you don't have to resort to auto clicking especially now with sprint races uh for Monday and Tuesday. This is why Sprint Races is limited to Monday and Tuesday. Uh, that's just my assumption. Uh, so people who use like auto clickers don't take advantage of the system. That was one of the main reasons why Race Crate was removed from the game. Because players were using auto clickers to exploit the Race Crate. Where you see somebody doing 25,000 race for the season. You know how much Race Crate that is? Huh? Their account would have been maxed doing 25,000 race for the season. All right? So that's what Hutch has decided to come now with a banning system. So don't get banned, my guy. Don't get banned. If you get an in-game message saying, yeah, we suspect you of cheating, please stop. Just stop, bro. Just stop. Go back to regular play. Try to bring your competition down to regular you know what i mean yeah so that's basically all i have for you guys here today use code word don't ban me uh, <laughs> to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video and if you guys have been using some form of auto clicker to abuse the system please stop please stop the game is now has gotten into a place of fairness for all players it has moved away from it's all about what you know to about being fair for all. All right. And I like that. So definitely support Hutch uh, with this new announcement and their new system uh, to stop players from cheating in the game. All right. So that's basically going to be it for this one. Remember to smash that like button if you haven't already done so. And that's basically going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Well, good guys. Bye. Shout out to Vidmantis, Alfredo Jr., Touch My Dilly and Xavier Magni.
avoid any confrontation.